Now to the new series, Winning Time, The Rise of the Lakers Dynasty. The show is set in the early 1980s and is a story of businessman Jerry Buss, who bought the failing L.A. Lakers and turned the team into the hottest ticket in town and eventually into NBA champions. The team was led by veteran superstar Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who seemingly unimpressed by the Lakers' number one draft pick, rookie Irvin Magic Johnson. Let's take a look. You talking about him like he the boogeyman. What's up, Cal? Make this dashiki. I take a glass of orange juice with my morning paper. Separate it out by section. News first, arts and leisure, sports last. Have it at my door at six. So who did director Adam McKay pick to play the legendary Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Dr. Solomon Hughes, PhD, a former college and pro basketball player who had given up the game years ago for the halls of academia. Dr. Hughes Solomon, he joins us now. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. So you have a master's degree, a PhD, and you were teaching at Stanford and Duke and had no professional acting experience. How did you end up landing this starring role as Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? The grace of God. No, I mean, you know, honestly, I, I was, I've always had an interest in this space. You know, I grew up as someone who was a huge fan of film, TV, and theater. Um, and I actually went so far as right after I graduated from college, came down to LA and tried to explore the space. And so, um, you know, when, when the audition came my way, I tell people I was just thrilled to get an opportunity to put myself out there and get some feedback. So did you have an agent then at the time, kind of looking at some opportunities for you in the acting realm? No, no, what I was doing was, I was so up until that point, I, I was like literally checking on Craigslist <laughs> to see if there were like local auditions for shorts. Um, just because again, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fan of film and TV. It's really impacted who I am personally. And so um, just look, you know, any, I, I was eager, I was curious, but nothing had, had come my way. And let's talk about your role on Winning Time. You are six foot, 10 inches tall, resemble Kareem Abdul-Jabbar a bit, and, and had the basketball moves already. But how did you capture the essence of this iconic athlete and activist who's, who's rather complex? Right, you know, I mean, it's, you know, I, I grew up in Southern California, and so I, Kareem has literally always been the center of my basketball universe. And so, so, so there was some familiarity there, right? And, and the other thing is I feel like I, I've benefited from the fact that he's been pretty generous in how much he's shared about his life, his documentary on HBO, uh, the books that he's written, et cetera, just, you know, just listening to him as a speaker. We also, you know, I benefit from being in the YouTube era where you can find footage of old interviews, et cetera. Um, and so, but it, but it was fun. It was fun, you know, trying to capture the confidence of arguably one of the greatest, if not the greatest basketball player of all time. That was a little bit of a stretch because when I played the game, I, I think people would look back. I, I was a little timid as a basketball player. So really trying to embody the confidence of someone like Kareem was, was fun. It was challenging, but it was fun. And when you talk about trying to embody the confidence that he had, you were already in your 40s when you had to, to start getting ready to, to play him as a pro basketball player on screen. And also master his signature sky hook, uh, which apparently you practiced for several months. Tell us about that. For at least a year, because so we shot the pilot in 2019, and then because of COVID, everything was put on hold. So I found an outdoor court, and every single day got up hundreds of reps on, with the right hand, with the left hand. And so, you know, well, I say there's only one person that actually mastered it, and that's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But mm -hmm. I definitely think that my effort is is up there with the rest of them. So. And you came to Winning Time with without any acting experience at all. You were working with some of the biggest names in Hollywood, like Adam McKay, John C. Riley, and Adrian Brody. What was that process like as you made your acting debut among all those seasoned vets? Sure. So, you know, I, I, I worked in higher ed for eight years. And one of the biggest things that people talk about on campus, I mean, there's research that's been done about it, is how you create a sense of belonging, how you make people feel like they belong on the campus so that they can go on and contribute, right? As learners, as students, et cetera. And so to, to be essentially go into this portal and end up in, in the entertainment realm, one of the things that I saw come to life in, in, in outside of the academic setting was a, a cast of seasoned veterans, of, of producers, of, of, of writers, et cetera, who really just laid the groundwork for a very welcoming cult. I mean, just their, their willingness to talk about their journey, to share insights about the craft, was it was incredible it, it was literally a master class and so i you know I'm, I'm very grateful for that 
And, and there was an iconic moment in, in the first episode, and, and we had a shot of it just a, a moment ago, um, where you recreate Kareem's role in the hit movie Airplane. There it is. <laughs> it, describe what that moment was like. You were playing Kareem, who was playing a movie character. Right, right. No, and that was the very first scene that I shot. So, I mean, you can imagine I walked in trembling, right? But again, you know, just Adam and Max and Rodney and Jim just really, really just went above board in terms of, you know, making me feel like I was one of the gang. And uh, you know, we shot that in the same exact pilot that they used in the in the film Airplane. And so that was a lot of fun, a lot of history there, right? So. Yeah, it, it, was a, it was a good time. A lot of improv there. And, and Winning yeah. Time has now been picked up for a second season, so it sounds like yes. you're going to be busy for a while. Are, are you putting away academia for a bit now that you've found this, this new career? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, right now, you know, I'm just, I feel like if anything that I've learned in this realm of acting is the, the importance of being present. And so, really, I'm just, I'm grateful for where we've been, and I'm grateful for today, obviously, the news about the second season. And so that's all my energy and my attention is just, you know, how we can tell more of this story. Dr. Solomon Hughes, we thank you so much for talking with us tonight. Winning Time, The Rise of the Lakers Dynasty airs new episodes Sundays at 9 p.m. on HBO and is available to stream on HBO Max. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.